Hello, this is AJ and this is the best five. If you are new here, please consider to subscribe. The iPhone XR, Apple's cheapest new phone, offers pretty much everything the iPhone XS does for a lot less money. So why would anybody buy the iPhone XS? Apple generally saves the best picture for its top-of-the-line devices. But this year, its cheapest new model is looking especially good. The company last September unveiled three new iPhones, the iPhone XR, a new cheaper LCD version of iPhone X starting at $749, the iPhone XS, an enhanced version of iPhone X beginning at $999, and the iPhone XS Max, a large skin version starting at $1,099, Apple will likely continue to draw interest for its most expensive phone from hardcore fans but iPhone XR might prove surprisingly popular in the way the Apple hasn't seen the large-end phones. So paying between $1,099 and $1,449 for an iPhone sounds a little crazy but the iPhone XS Max to a specified kinds of Apple consumer. The device boasts 6.5 inch skin, the largest ever for an iPhone, a new 512GB insane storage configuration, a large battery that provides up to 90 minutes more juicy when compared with the iPhone X. A year ago, that means last year in 2018, Apple launched three popular phones starting with 699, 799, and 999. This year, line of features from beginning with 749, 999, and 1099 US dollar. That's not a very big jump from the lowest tier to new iPhone, but is a massive jump for the middle of the pack option and the phone is not better than one below. It's not so clean who the iPhone XS belongs to and Apple rigs the chances of this device to the cheaper iPhone XR. Like its predecessor, the XS offers age to age OLED skin, facial recognition and dual camera on 3D touch. The iPhone XR offers an h 2 h LCD skin, facial recognition, a single camera that can still take portrayal mode and a good quality picture and haptic feedback that gives users a sense of feedback in lieu to fool on 3D touch. For many iPhone consumers, the presence of Touch ID and the difference not worth an additional $250. Both phones make use of Apple fancy new A12 Bionic chip, which the company said that industrial first 7 nanometer chip, so consumer would be getting faster processing and advanced feature in either device. While the iPhone XS comes in silver, gold and space grey, the XR comes in a number of more fun coloring options which are potentially attractive to certain users. The company has been able to make up to the fact that smartphone users are upgrading the device a lower a slower rate by improving its mix. In other words, the company has been able to sell fewer devices for more money and reap handsome profit. The iPhone XR though could potentially hurt mix. It costs less than the iPhone 8 Plus and could lure a good chunk of customer away from the iPhone XS by offering nearly identical feature at the way better value. For context, the iPhone starting price $749 is about what analysts expect the company overall iPhone average selling price to be this year and next. The company will continue to sell iPhone 7 starting at $459 as well iPhone 8 is starting at $599 but is looked to be killing of iPhone SC and 6S. Apple shares closed down 1.2% in last September but rebounded for 2.4% on last week of the September. The stock is up 41.8% over last 12 months. Ok, so it's up to you what you wanna buy. A $1,000 for a $749 for a $1,000 or $1,400. They basically look the same, only have some difference in cameras. Okay, put your opinion in the comment section. Let me know what you like.
If you like our video, please subscribe to our channel that is the West 5 and please hit the bell button for further notification. If you like this segment, please give us a like. Take care. Till then. Bye-bye.